Yeah. Huh? <sighs> yeah, we could have had. They limit you, but I mean that if we would have taken both of those campsites theoretically, we could have had like 20 people in there. I wonder if he reserved those. Again. I don't know if he. I think he did. Cause, but for whatever reason, Clear Creek puts like capacity limits on there that are like really low. Like I think we were limited to eight people on both of those. But, I mean, physically, you could have gotten a lot more people in there. But, uh, that doesn't change the cost. The costs were, it was so crazy cheap. I mean, it's like $4 a person a night is unheard of in any kind of state well, park. For the shelters, oh my lord. 
Oh. But the thing is, you pay like, registration. Yeah. Because if you call, if you call to make a reservation with the state parks, you got to talk to someone that's not with the state parks, and then they charge a fee. Have you ever tried to do that, like to get a campsite? Huh? Have you ever reserved a campsite? No, I do it oh. I don't know. What? They, what you Nothing. No. I mean, I've always, I've, I've always called on the phone, and there's always a fee. Yeah, there's a. You pay a fee, and then you pay another fee on top of that. But there's no way around it. Like if you do it online. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. 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 And there's a steep side of the ground. You gotta cross over Yeah. It's so you know, I think they did have money on the Uh-huh. They didn't have a Wow. Yeah. Yeah. To pay for that? No. Well, I, I think it was because it was really Yeah. Yeah. It's really screwy. If you stay at a state park in Ohio, even if you pay an, uh, an out-of-state fee, it's still cheaper than an in-state staying in Pennsylvania state parks because they price them higher here. Yeah. Keystone Keystone Park charges more than um, that park I stayed at up in Tioga County, more than Hills Creek. Keystone Park in Westmoreland County charges more than that, than the Hills Creek Park in Tioga County, so it might be regional. The only reason I ever go there is to be close to the Little Highlands Trail for the, the event. Yeah, like I won't do anything there, yeah. yeah. What's really stupid is that Marine State Park doesn't have camping, as big of a park as that is, they can't have like two different campgrounds. Maybe. But I mean, they've had, like, huge events there. Like, they have, like, the, what is it, the Boy Scout Jamboree with, like, 10,000 people in the 70s or something? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Ugh. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Oh, my. Yeah.
Yeah. They're, these are um, harder and harder to find because they stopped making them. Yeah, it's a... Like, I have to move it to my brother's house in the winter because my mom, it takes up too much space in the garage. She can't get her car in the garage. But when I move somewhere, I'll have it all the time. Yeah, have a good trip. Thanks, you guys. Oh, I'm too? Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right.
Yeah. It's perfect. No, I mean, I don't want to, like, huh? not in no big hurry. Okay. No, the outcast, the, the sea kayaking group, see, they're weird because they all have sea kayaks that are sleeker and longer and lighter than this. So when I'm with them, they're paddling so fast. I mean, I'm just, like, going so much. Oh, yeah. But for most people, this boat is way fast. Yeah. Well, there's some really big-ass longers. Yeah. You don't have the vehicle with it. That's what I mean. Look. 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 Look.
Waterfall? Oh. Hmm. Oh, nice. I think I hear it. I hear it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Huh. Oh. Oh, that might be the sign that says this isn't tested or something, but people drink it anyway. It's like a... Is it the Fountain of Youth? There's like a Fountain of Youth here. Yeah, because it, it's, yeah, it's almost like a little spigot, but it's a natural spring. North Park has one, too. Yeah, it looks very similar. No, no, that one's not so nice, but this one is good. People come here and, like, bottle the water and, like, take it with them. Yeah. Oh, there's the waterfall. Yeah, it's a man-made waterfall. That's on the North Country Trail. Right, I know. That's what we saw. Yeah. I totally remember that. Yeah, that's not far. That's like a mile or two into the hike. The one of the hikes. So we've, uh, we've already reached the first section. So I guess the next section then is just, yeah, getting close to gravel lick. It'll be another section. Huh. Oh. Yeah. This is where the North Country Trail goes up now. It goes like back there. Yeah, it. Oh, I, I thought that was further north. I thought that was in the National Forest. Maybe up by Maple Creek Shelter up, up in the north part of the park. Um, but it, you, you know what? It does follow the Baker Trail. The two run together for a while. And then, um, in... Yeah. There's, um, a place, like, just on the other side of 66 where the North Country Trail and the Baker Trail split again, and the North Country Trail goes into the National Forest. you ever hike the section right on the state line in New York you go on one side and it says Allegheny State Park on the one side and then on the other side of the sign it says Allegheny National Forest 
So it's kind of neat. Yeah, it's spelled two different ways, and it's you can. It's only a mile hike from. Um, I think it's State Route Four something. I can't remember, but it runs real close to New York. Huh? Yeah. Well, the North Country Trail probably wasn't developed or wasn't built then. Well, there, was, there was a hiking system up there, but I, I, I mean, I didn't know. Yeah. I always wanted to kind of go off in a car, but I Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. I'm Walk Island. Oh, nice. I think those islands you're free to like camp on there and like nobody can bother you and it's, it's like public domain. Well, some of them. I mean, unless they're like owned, and I don't think there are too many that are owned. I think in Pennsylvania, the islands are like, you can just camp there. I'm wondering, I'm surprised, I don't know, I'm going to check into the shop. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, I don't know if See, I would have, I would have reserved it, but I just couldn't put the money up. I was even more poor three weeks ago when it was time to do that than I am right now. So that's why Dave did it. But I mean, if I do it again next year, I'll just call, and I'm, I'm sure it's not hard. No, it's not hard. I just, yeah. Oh. Uh. Well, if there's any kind of anything, I mean, uh, we shouldn't, wait, could we do gravel lick? Yeah, that does look like gravel lick, because gravel lick's on that side. Oh my gosh. They're, yeah, we're crazy fast. It's not, it's like 12, 11. Uh -uh. See, this is, yeah. Yeah, that's, that would make sense. So this makes a good day for a biathlon. Have a, the kayak, then have lunch, then do a hike. <laughs> There's a, you know, something else. <laughs> but I, uh, I went to Gravel Lick yesterday first. That's why I was so screwed up, and I was wondering why anyone wasn't there. And here I forgot. Yep. And they were, they were completely missing. Not one of them called and said, you know, I don't think I'm gonna come. One lady who wasn't actually signed up, she kind of expressed an interest and she sent me a thing and says she didn't think she would come. She was the most polite one here. She was never even signed up. Nice spring conditions, that's for sure. You know, the day I did the west branch of the Susquehanna, it was going like this, because I did like 30 miles in eight hours. Uh, from like up past Renovo to Lock Haven. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, that's the town there. Well, there, Heiner View. There's this. Yeah. Uh huh? Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, he's like the water level isn't high. It's got to be XYZ. Uh huh. And you can call this. It's like a hotline for the National Weather Service. Yeah. Oh, that's how they used to do it in the 90s. Now a lot of people go on the USGS site, but you can still do the calling. Yeah. There is an app um, I saw for the phone, and I wasn't too impressed by it. It basically is just like a hot link to the USGS stuff, and I'm like, sophisticated enough, I'll go there and look at it myself and can get more out of it. Yeah, that's what I mean. I just go straight to the source because I mean, then I'll check all of. You can look at a state map of Pennsylvania on USGS, and you can see which rivers in the state are high which ones are low like different percentiles they'll be different colors and then you click on the little things and each gauging station will come up and you get graphs and charts and oh, wow. yeah it really gets into the nitty-gritty Oh. And then it said, like, like, they gave, like, the maximum low and then, like, Yeah. Yeah. But at least I knew we were close to optimal position. Yeah. Something. We were, like, the PA Grand Canyon thing I did a few weeks ago. It was dangerous for fly fishermen or whatever. It was like like after four and a half feet, I think it was at six feet, it says like uh, it's it's not advised to do any fishing or something. So we didn't see any people fly fishing. And that's like, uh, usually you see people wading all over the place up there catching fish. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. But, um, I stopped at one of those women at the campsite that you could like to, you know, Yeah. Like oh, those are nice, yeah. They look risky. They look like nobody would ever send for Yeah. Can you see? Oh, what road could it be? Oh, what road could it be? I mean, let's see. I mean, my map is, is here, I just don't know. Okay. Maybe, yeah, what other road could it be? Yeah. Uh. It always says on the green thing on there. The um, North Country Trail goes along a bike trail a little bit in uh, near Franklin Oil City and they have shelters along the bike trail there. Oh, the, you, the Red Bank Bike Trail? Red Bank Valley Bike Trail? Yeah, that's a beautiful bike trail. It's like 50 miles. Yeah, you can go to like uh, East Brady um, and get get on the uh, Armstrong Trail, or you can go to Catania and get arm, on the Armstrong Trail, and you can pick it up off of there. It branches off, or you can go to um, the, if you want to get on it directly, you can go to New Bethlehem or Brookville and get on it. Yeah, the best way. Yeah. Yeah, if you really want to see like a nice part, and yeah, the quickest way to see like what, what I think is the best part would be to go to East Brady, um, which is like right off Route 68 near where Joyce Appel lives, pretty much. And yeah, yeah, and so you go kind of toward the south end of town, like you have to follow some different roads, and there's a bike parking area. It's not exactly in East Brady, and I made the mistake where I parked in East Brady, and they have a better place. And then you only have to go about two miles, and then you can go on the bike trail. Um, the Red Bank Trail goes like 20 miles before it'll hit New Bethlehem. Uh, no, that's the Armstrong Trail, but you won't go very far. Like you'll go under some structures. There'll be like a 
a thing it's like a, a big thing i don't know what it is it's like a hundred foot, foot tall structure and not far after that then you'll make the turn to the left uh, it'll like veer off you'll and then and then one trail goes south no the armstrong trail will keep going for like 25 more miles or something yep yeah you go um oh uh, if you can go all the way from there to like new bethlehem that's my favorite part because it's just really wild really scenic there's only one town in between there in 10 miles well if you did that to new bethlehem you'd go about 22 23 miles and then you'd have to go back oh, wow. um but the um it's it's rougher than other parts of the trail so that's the thing you got to be prepared to you know be, have a rough experience but it's worth it yeah 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 uh-huh yeah. like like yeah. yeah. well, i have a, a mountain bike and i have two sets of tires for it i have mountain bike and road tires and i just I usually go on the rail trails, so I think I have these like hybrid tires on for rail trails. Yeah. Oh, I got special ones put on mine like that because I was having too much problems bending down. It was causing my pinch nerve and, and aggravating things. Um, but they're like five inches higher and it really makes a difference. I got a show in West here.
Oh, my God.